Hello everyone, my name is Arkham and welcome back to yet another video. This video is quite different. I have myself a box. It's not any box, it is a mystery box from Good Smile Company. It is the year of the dragon and they decided, they decided to do a mystery box sale for a bunch of different things. Nendroids, Figmas, Papa Parades, scale figures, deluxe scale figures, and bunny girl figures. This one is a very small box, as you can see. So, I got two different items. I'm not gonna say which ones they are, because I, myself, just kinda clicked on one, on, on two things differently. So, it is completely sealed. I have not opened it at all. So I am really excited to just kinda see what it is and what they included on this. Uh, they do, these boxes do have quite the bad reputation in terms of the collecting community because it's really just things that they have in their inventory that they need to get rid of. And I definitely understand that because like you, you want to sell these things one way or another to make room for more. And I get that. And I understand the frustration of people, but I myself that do, does not collect everything it's kind of a nice change of pace because it allows me to get figures for cheaper. Oh, all right. Now that we got this open, I can see more paper. Let me just do this. It's paper. Wonderful. Let's throw that to the side. Now, in here we have Goodness great. Oh my god. Okay. Wonderful. Why did I get the what? All right, so as you can see Give me one second All right, so here we have the two items I ordered from the mystery box I ordered a an Nendroid and I ordered a Figma the reason for this is because the Nendroids were like $20 I think $25 and then the Figmas were a whopping $30 which is kind of insane to think about because like Figmas are very expensive I don't know how much this Figma specifically is all right I'm gonna stop my past self here uh, just to kind of shorten the time frame of this video because it was around 11 minutes I don't want you guys to be here for that long so in terms of how lucky I got for this one, for this mystery box, I would say I got pretty lucky. Mainly because the Promare uh, Figma, I couldn't find it on the Good Smile website as I'm editing the video. For some reason, I couldn't get to it, but I saw that it was around $70 to $80 based on different websites. I know it's like around $65 on uh, Amazon and $80 on Big Bad Toy Store. So there's a huge range for this figure. So paying $30 specifically for a Figma mystery box is not utterly bad. And for the Nendroid, moving on to the Nendroid, I think I actually got pretty lucky with getting uh, Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. This is actually a figure that I had on pre-order in the past, but I ended up not getting her because uh, I just didn't kind of want it. <laughs> I think I, it was just more so of a impulse pre-order and I just kind of came back to it and was like, I actually kind of don't like, don't, don't want this figure, but I'm actually kind of glad that I got her because it, she was on my list pri uh, prior to like last year or when she released. So I'm actually got, glad I got her. In terms of how worth it she was, I think the, the Nendry boxes are $25 and she has a value of $70 right now on the Good Smile website. I think I got pretty lucky on this one too because I ended up paying around one third of the price. Uh, close to there, uh, give or take. And honestly, uh, combining these two, I ended up paying just a total of $70, which is not a lot, especially for two figures. And the overall value of both of these, you could say that it's around 140 to 160, uh, give or take, because of shipping and taxes and all that kind of stuff. But I think these, both of these figures, were completely worth it in the end. Now, um, 
in terms of are they are the mystery boxes themselves worth it? I would say yes, but not for all of them. I think for the most part, the ones that are the most worth are the Figmas because they are super cheap and there's sort of a limited variety of Figmas. And right now there's a lot of good ones, a lot of bad ones too, but there's a lot of good ones that you could probably get from the Goods Model website themselves. Now, in terms of Nendroids, I also think those are good because you're paying probably half of what an Android is normally uh, priced at. So I don't think that's a bad deal either. Uh, for Papa Parades, I don't entirely know the price of it. I th think it's 30 bucks as well. I might be confusing it with something else, but I'm not entirely sure. For the scale figures, they're $130. You could try to get one if you want to give your uh, give it a shot. Uh, the Lux scale figures are 160 That's what I'm kind of getting onto. They're kind of worth it especially if they have some really good deluxe scale figures still available on in the good smile website and then we get to the bunny figures i don't think those are worth it at all <laughs> i think they're actually kind of expensive granted they're still less than some of the bunny figures but i know uh, some of the bunny figures are still near the 200 price so I don't really recommend it because you might get that one and you might be overpaying for it rather than underpaying, getting it cheaper than it is. So I don't really recommend those. But overall, I do think mystery boxes are a fun thing to get every now and then, not all the time. I think I got pretty lucky and uh, I'm definitely extending this. So I'm going to leave it to myself, uh, my past self to finish off this video. But yeah. I think it was completely worth it. I would say yes, they're they're worth it to some extent. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, and if you want to see more of this type, I am willing to do it. So if not, that's perfectly fine. Our regularly scheduled figure reviews are going to come back uh, for the next uh, scheduled video. I'm pretty sure this is going to be uploaded on a Tuesday. So expect the next video on friday now in terms of me continuing to ramble for no apparent reason i am just going to say i will see you all in the next one bye bye